What's going on, everyone? I want to talk about NBA player Malik Beasley. I've spoken about him before, but apparently his now ex-wife, she's really doing bad out here, man. And what triggered her coming out and saying what she's saying about living basically from hotel to hotel uh, is because she doesn't really have the funds to really move into her own place right now because she was heavily reliant on Malik Beasley, a guy who has since moved on to Larsa Pippen. And I actually did a live stream re uh, the other day, the other night, about older women chasing younger men and being for the streets. Uh, I'll put a link to that live stream. Definitely want to check it out. I referenced the Larsa Pippen situation and this situation, and I talked about how Larsa wants to compete with younger women. You know, she was a woman that was married for a long time. And and now, you know, she wants to go out and be in the streets. And and she, I believe, enjoyed the fact that she was able to take this young guy from his wife. And she posted some messages and it was all triggered by Malik Beasley posting. I guess a throwback Thursday with the son. Right. It triggered her going off and saying this. All right, let's get into this article. It's been a minute since Malik Beasley and a strange wife, uh, Montana Yao, have been in the news. Beasley and Montana unceremoniously split following Beasley being spotted with Scottie Pip as a strange wife, Larsa. Following those pics, you know, craziness broke loose and everyone was pointing the finger at Larsa for being a homeworker. She claimed Malik had already split from Montana now we're finding out a bit more info on how exactly things ended. You know what's crazy? I actually checked out her social media right before this whole thing sort of broke, like the day of, right? There was no pictures of Malik Beasley. It is as if she had already distanced herself from him. So maybe in a sense they had temporarily split up and she thought that they were going to get back together but they never got back together. He was for real this time. And I truly believe that he, once he got that money from Minnesota, he was going to leave her. I think this was something that he had planned in the back of his mind. Uh, let's see, according to Montana, Beasley kicked out his wife and child at 4 a.m., leaving them with little. And to this day, they still don't have much. Beasley posted about their child, which set off truth bombs. So he posted a throwback Thursday with his son uh, there, right? And it led her to post these lengthy posts. Now, I'm going to see if I can read <laughs> at least some of it. I'll link it in the description box. Y'all can go and check it out. I only address the Hold on. Let me go and read what he had to say. Let's see what Malik Beasley had to say. I ain't perfect, and I definitely thought I was. And I apologize for that young bull. I have made mistakes, but I have learned from them. I will make up for the time that I have missed and the struggles I have put you through. You are a young king, and you deserve to live that way. Learn from me. I love you and miss you, Makai. Daddy has been working on himself. I'll be seeing you soon. Don't worry. So basically... He's admitting, yes, um, I'm not with my child. Um, I don't feel like it's the right time to be around my child. I want to work on myself, which means he wants to be happy by himself. And it seems that he may not have been happy with Montana. For some reason, he wasn't happy with her. But you married her. Why would you marry somebody you're not happy to? Did the quarantine really damage that relationship? Because that's what it seemed like it did. Maybe the quarantine time with her really did damage that relationship beyond repair. But I also believe he thinks she cheated on him. Now, this is what she had to say. I only address things when they are false. Young King, that's interesting because you definitely do not try to help him live that life and still don't. In fact, quite the opposite. Y'all want the truth? Here we go. You completely blindsided us and kicked us out at 4 a.m. with nowhere to go and nothing but it's two suitcases after asking me to stay at home 
mom and wife for the uh, past uh, three years of our relationship. As you all can see clearly from my IG, uh, I believe his name is Makai, so I'm going to call him Makai. Makai and I have been living back and forth from hotels to Airbnbs to even moving states. And yes, I have been getting back to work as fast as I can. Thankfully, I am able to do so with the generous help of my parents who have given up more than necessary time and money at their age and health conditions. Neither of your parents have tried to call me to see, to talk to, or even check up on their own grandson, whom they also now are denying. When this originally happened, I was in Airbnb in Minnesota for two weeks, but the man refused to let me get our things. And since I have asked him to send them multiple times that he sent one box with half of the clothes not even being mine he has also requested a paternity test so in court he is not your son but on ig he is that is used back that is used back and forth against me regularly now you haven't seen him since this all went down and will call some days then go uh days without calling for those of you that don't know the reason Makai is in my full custody is because of CPS from the criminal charge, charge, the criminal change he got us into that I actually tried to take the charge for. See, that's the problem. <laughs> Y'all out here taking charges, man. Unbelievable. Ladies, if you don't know, this is illegal to claim drugs and, and, and other things that aren't yours. Make sure you're riding for the right person. So now I'm facing criminal charges as well. Also truly ask yourself because you don't, uh, because you say you want him to live like a young king, have you really tried to do that? Or are you even trying now? You claim you don't have the funds to support him in court, yet you just bought a $3 million home, new car, et cetera, so I'm a little confused. I don't think there's anything confusing, uh, Montana. I just think that he is done with you at least for right now. I, I just think that he wants absolutely nothing to do with her, okay? He took the older version of you because he felt happier. And if he is asking for paternity, again, you know, we can say that, you know, Lars is in his head. His family is in his head. Because if the family ain't even speaking to her or trying to, to check up on the, on the child, then they may have always felt some type of way about you, Montana. I think he truly believes that you got with somebody else Okay. And I think that he was okay with where the relationship was going. Right? I think he was okay with how the relationship was going. So he tolerated what he thought in the back of his mind. But once the quarantine situation started, I think that this is a very unfortunate and sad situation because Montana is claiming that she hasn't done anything to him. And it's clear that something is going on with Malik. And I think it has to do with what happened when he got into that altercation with Sue Cravens a couple years back in the apartment lobby. And that situation went viral. It was because he thought that Sue was trying to get with her. She said it was false. She had denied it. But you also got to take a step back and say, is he doing this just because he wants to be with another woman? See, I looked at it as, you know, this guy is going to be serving time in, in uh, he's going to be serving time behind bars. And I think he's trying to get mentally prepared for that. So this could be his way of trying to distance himself from everything that he had in order to mentally prepare for that. Um, not only that, but the fact that, you know, he did what he did and he knew what he did was wrong. And maybe he wanted to distance himself, to sort of get mentally prepared for the consequences of those actions. So he wants to live his life right, right now uh, as a single guy, just having fun before he has to spend that short amount of time behind bars. Because, again, why would he be subjecting a woman that he married to what he's subjecting her to? Unless he truly believed that she's not loyal. 
Unless he truly believes that she doesn't have his back. Unless he truly believes that she messed around with other guys. And if he is asking for paternity, I think that he might know some things that she don't think he knows. You know, women, and I'm not saying that she did it. I'm not saying Montana did it all. But what I'm saying is, you know, women are very good at getting away with doing things in a relationship because they will press you. They will get on your case if they think that you're dealing with other women, but in actuality, they're probably dealing with other men. So you have to look at the, uh, situations too. 